The Royal PR machine is in full swing this week on both sides of the pond. The Sussexes are well progressed in polishing their image. They've reportedly brought Ariana Grande's stylist on board to sort out the facade of Casa de Sussex. And Prince Harry was out and about this week at a benefit at his very best when he's self-deprecating. I think we can all agree that that's where Harry does his work and he should do more of it. We'll touch on this more later in the show. That said, remember that Family Guy episode which mocked Harry and Meghan a few weeks ago? Babe, time to do our daily $250,000 sponsored Instagram post for Del Taco. I shouldn't have left the made-up nonsense. Well, apparently that has caused a stir because it shone a light on the hypocrisy which underlies the Sussex's whole Royals of the People shtick. And this can only be a speed bump in their brand recovery. Look, we all had a laugh at the skit because, like South Park, the lack of self-awareness was so well illustrated. And it's very hard to recover from perfectly pitched satire. Back in the UK, Charles's charities are undergoing a rebranding of their own ahead of the King's 75th birthday. After all, there's almost always room to spruce up a septuagenarian and their accoutrements, but also to help distinguish between the King's charities and those helmed by Prince William. It's just another part of the leaning, clarifying and modernising of the royal family. And Camilla has also sent a brand message of her own when she accompanied the King to Parliament for his first speech this week. She was wearing the state diadem. Now, the state diadem was the Queen's favourite tiara, which she wore to her coronation and to every state opening. It should be familiar to Australians because it's also featured on a number of the Queen's effigies on our coins, including the last effigy commemorating her reign. Now, if that isn't sending a message, I don't know what is. In any event, the news has been packed this week with various royal repositionings and don't expect it to slow down anytime soon.